Welcome to unit 3. Now we're talking about important functions and methods for lists. If you have lists, of course you would like to man manipulate the list. You would like to add an element or delete an element. Maybe you want to sort the elements. And for these things there are functions and there are predefined methods. There are really many things you can do with a list. You can sort a list, append an element at the end, you can check for the minimum or maximum, you can delete elements or delete a certain value. I will show the difference later on. And once again, here for Python offers functions and methods which support this handling of lists. Showtime again. Let's dive into the notebook and see how this really works. So, important functions and methods for lists. Let's first have a look on the functions. One function you can use is the function len, a short for length. Yeah, functions are always have a name and uh, have some brackets behind them and there you can then enter the list where you would like to run the, fun the function on. Let's check here we have a defined fruit list containing of some strings, namely some uh, apple, banana and so on. And here we now use this fr len function, yeah, we put this fruit list as a um, parameter inside and uh, hand out the result. Same later on for this string and actually we already argued strings have some flavor of a, of a list and so you can use this len functions, function here as well. Let's give it a try and you see the fruit list contains five items. Yeah? Once again check these print statements. First we have the first part of the string the fruit list contains, then the result of the function len fruit lists is uh, inserted here and at the end again we have a string and in total it simply reads like the fruit list contains five items. Let's double check apple, banana, coconut, pear, prune, right it's, it's five. Course name equal to python introduction and basically the same type of string however now we do not enter a list but we enter a string in here and you see python introduction consists of 19 characters. Let's let we look on the next functions min and max. With min and max you can uh, check for the minimum or maximum however it only works if there is a minimum and maximum. That is, if these um, items in the list are comparable, if they are orderable. In here you see a list ZAP stock prices yeah, and you see some float values and I do not want to go and check by hand which is a minimum or maximum. But again you see a print statement where we have added a min function and the max function and if I run it then you see the lowest price in this list was 120.8 euro and the highest price was 125.46 euro. Uh, important the euro is added within the string it's not part of the numbers in here. Let's have a look if we try to work with min in a list which uh, cannot be ordered. Let's make a short example. So if we have, um, for example, a list composing of true, 12 and a string, um, ABC, and we try now to create this uh, min function based on this list, then you see we get an error. Why? Yeah, we this internally we have a, smaller or bigger um, relationship and this is not supported between instances of string and boolean. So here you can't do an ordering and so thus you can't find a minimum or a maximum. So let's delete this directly. Uh, 
um, we can use the um, function sorted. Um, if you use sorted, then the items in the lists are sorted. Again, this only works if the list contains orderable elements. Important, sorted does not sort the original list. However, it gives back another list which can be assigned to a new variable. In here you see we have our random numbers. Yeah? You see they are unsorted in these lists. And when we call the function sorted, entering the parameter random numbers, so our unsorted lists, we give back, we assign the value to a new list sorted numbers and both are printed out. Yeah? So once again, we can see first the example in here, you see it's still the unsorted list. So even if we have put it as an argument into this sorted function, it remains um, the same. However, we have a return value, namely our um, sorted list, which we assign to sorted numbers. And now you can see this one really looks fine. And again, we can use the same on um, a string. Within a string, these uh, elements are then sorted alphabetically and uh, you see there's a space in here which becomes the first, the smallest element. And you can see as well um, the uh, capital uh, letters, char capital characters all come before the small characters. You do not want to go to discuss why this is. Let's have a look on these sorted functions if we try to sort some values which cannot really be ordered. Yeah? And the same problem happens in here, what happened uh, above with the min and max function. If you would like to sort some elements of a list, they must be orderable. So it must the, the smaller sign must be applicable. And that's here not the case. That's why we do get this type error. Let's have a look on some important methods for lists. So what actually is the difference between functions and methods? We do not want to go into detail here. However, if you call a function, then you simply write its name and put the arguments in the, in the parentheses. For example, print is a function. Um, you simply call print, uh, open the parentheses, put the argument in there and close the final parentheses. Functions are in a way independent of objects. Methods, in contrast, do something with um, the objects but are part of the object. In this case, um, the, the function sort, sorry, in this case, the method sort is a part of the um, object list of the, uh, of the list random numbers. And if we want to call, if we want to execute a method, then we always have to first call the object, in this case random numbered numbers, followed by a dot, followed by the method's name. And sometimes we can still put some arguments or parameters into these um, parentheses. Let's give it a try. Let's take an example. Again, we have our random numbers, we have our list, and now we try to sort it. Random numbers is called, we add this dot and we add this method name and we do not forget these parentheses. And then we check and you see now random numbers is sorted. So again, uh, the important difference between the function sorted and the method sort is that sort really sorts the uh, origin list, the original list, whereas um, the function sorted does not change the list, the original list, but gives back a new list which we can assign to a variable. There are a few more methods, like for example, append, pop, insert and remove. And those I would like to show next. So here we have a small list, numbers consisting of 
um, the numbers one, two, three, four, and append simply puts the element, which is uh, in here, it's a 10, um, simply puts this 10 at the end of the list. Let's simply give it a try, and you can see one, two, three, four, and then 10. So, with append, a new item can be added at the end of the list. And if you would like to do the opposite, if you would like to take away um, the final element of a list, you can simply use this uh, method pop. Yeah? And important, um, this method pop has a return value. Basically, it gives back the element. So you see here, we have again our list numbers, one, two, three, four. If we pop this list, yeah, we have a value which is given back, it's a four, which is assigned to the variable last item. And if you then print both in here, you can see the list is really reduced. The last item has disappeared and the four is printed out, is now um, stored in the variable last item. If you do not want to put an element, a new element at the end of the list, you can use this method insert instead. However, then you have to add the index. You have to uh, say at which position the uh, element should be inserted. So here you have two parameters. The first one gives the, uh, the index. The second one is the actual element which has to be inserted. Uh, so let's give it a try. So you can see one, two, three, four is our original list and the 10 is now placed at place with the index two. Uh, one is at the index zero, two is at the index one and 10 now is at the index two. Uh, you can see it, that's what we really wanted. You would like to get rid of a certain element, but not of the last one. Yeah, then you can try the method remove. Remove simply removes the first occur occurrence of an element. So if you have several objects, several elements of this, um, which are the same, then only the first one is removed. So again, let's give it a try. Yeah, you can see one, two, three. This three has been removed. Now, this is a way now. However, the second three still remains in the list. These are a few methods and functions which are used to manipulate uh, lists. So, what have you taken away? What should you learn from this unit? You know lists, you know we have ind indices to manipulate lists, but there are a few functions and methods which really simplify your life and uh, help you to remove data from lists, insert lists, sort lists, and so on and so on.